So we are in Miami right now. It is 2:21. Today is pre-op. Well, not pre-op day. Today is the day before pre-op. We're about to go to Trader Joe's so we can pick up all the little ingredients we need, you know, to take care of me over the week while I'm here by myself. I'm here with my sisters, as you guys know. Everybody knows my sisters at this point. Um, yeah, it's hot as fuck, but I got the sweater on and I'm not taking it off. So that's just that's just what it gives. I have some leggings on as well. And yeah, so we got a and B. I don't know why. I got two stories, but I got two stories, and that was just like a bad idea. I should never do that. Cause now I'm thinking about me having woke up these. But it's cute in here. So um, yeah, here, here are these whores. My titties is blowing up my bra. I'm blowing <laughs> my leg. Yeah. So. I have to crop that out. <laughs> <laughs> we just so this place is really cute and little or whatever. Um. So I'm gonna, you know, go to Trader Joe's. I'll be back. Probably gonna run some more errands, and that's it. Oh, hold on. Now I'm ready to get the camera. What you, what you want to say to the camera? She better not annoy me. Nah, I'm looking forward to you having your ass done. Maybe it'll bring happiness and joy to you. Like, you stop being such a bitch. <laughs> Everybody always tells me I'm a bitch. I don't think I'm a bitch. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, we got the hang time out. We got the real hair out today. What y'all doing back there? They, they lotioning their legs with hand lotion because we didn't bring any lotion because I'm like, I packed basically all the, the toiletry shit and I don't need lotion this trip because I can't be lotion like that because you know, infections, blah, 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 blah. So we ain't got no lotion. These bitches over here. What the fuck is this? What is this bag? Is, is this laundry? <laughs> <laughs> but the lady who let us in, like the, who owns the main house, we're in the back house. The lady who owns the main house, she's so sweet. So if that is her laundry, that's fine. She, she don't speak no English. She's speaking Spanish. She thinks we're speaking Spanish. And I'm just reading her body language as to what she want to say. And she was not fucking around. She said, lock that front door. But yeah, we about to go to get an Uber. Go to Trader Joe's. It's really hot out here. But this is how I live. So that's what it is. I'm not honest. Didn't like the same one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trade Aid shows. You know, here they they these in plastic bags. It's very weird to me because in New York they do not use plastic bags in at all. But I got two things of pineapples because yeah, I got two things of Brussels sprouts, two things of broccoli, some chicken broth, salads because you know. What, what don't you guys say? Thick as fucking only eating salads, period. And I got three things of salmon. Uh, two things of ground turkey because I really like chicken burgers. I do. Um, then I got some chicken as well. I don't, mm -mm, my chicken. Mm -hmm. Very, made me very uneasy. I should have touched that last. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, I also got some chips in guac. Yes, yes, yes. And first off, these Brioche fucking bread oh, these Brioche bread loaves, y'all. Get y'all some of these. I be eating these at home with the fucking turkey burger. Y'all, y'all, I'm a very simple person. So I like the turkey burger with the mayonnaise. That's it. And I put some, like, you know, some seasoning on top. Girl, that shit is good. Okay, and then um, I also got some alkaline water from Trader Joe's. I got two of them. These are like bigger than the ones that they have in New York. I've never seen one of these big in New York. I don't know why. Maybe I don't be looking hard enough. But um, this one has electrolytes in it as well. But basically, when I was first going to get my like blood work for my surgery, whatever, I, my electrolytes were low. So now, but you know, I'm an electrolyte fiend. And I got these sparkling waters because if you know me, you know I'm a sparkling water addict. In Islam flavor, the best flavor for any drink, margarita, all that. Love lime flavor. And then we have to stop at Target because Trader Joe's ain't have no rice. So we got some three things of Spanish rice because I really don't want to be buying food while I'm out here. Uh, some mayonnaise because I need mayonnaise. And I got some kombucha. This one is a strawberry flavor, but. I 
that strawberry. That's not even strawberry flavor. That is the watermelon flavor. I got the pink lady apple. That taste gives a little bit of apple. My sister said it tastes like apple cider vinegar to her, so. But she don't like, uh, she don't like kombucha, so. Um, you know what I'm missing? Is this stuff in the bag still? Did somebody put it away? Come on, bugging. Oh, it's right. Girl, it is right here. I'm about to go off because I've really been trying to get this. I've been feeding for this. I've been seeing it on TikTok, the chili iron crunch or whatever. Had to get that for my pot stickers. You know, I love these. Whoever got me on Instagram, no, I love these. So I got four of those. Cause I don't. I just want to cook while I'm here. I do not want to be going out and buying food. So I already spent a lot of money on the surgery, and I'm I'm a frugal person. Who ever know me? Like I'll be. I'm. Let me lie. I'm lying. I have a spending problem, but I'm be. I'm trying to change that because I feel like you know I'm getting older. I want to do more things on money instead of you know doing dumb stuff all the time. So. Yeah, and your girl about to do something after this, so stay tuned for that. So, you got to save her little coins. Got to pinch the quarters. Oh, and that's it. Man, this is this is my sister's. Some stuff they had to buy. So, yes, all we got. I'm probably not going to be doing nothing for the rest of the day. Probably going to cook something for later on because tomorrow I have to go to my pre-op appointment. So, yeah. Next day, I just wanted to come on here. I don't know. Did it start? right i don't know but yeah it's an day. i just want to come on here and talk to you guys i just finished my pre-op appointment so yeah 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 they didn't give me much time for my appointment well they didn't give me time for my surgery yet because basically they just don't know yet so they're gonna text me later on today but i just want to come here and talk to you guys because i know i've been on youtube for a minute and a lot of people are not expecting me to get my body done because this is not something i've been talking about because you know i like to keep my life private and i like keep it on the hush live my life uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah i like to keep my life you know low-key now or whatever but the people that's like closer to me they, they know this already but i'm getting ready to talk to you guys as to why i've chose to do this blah, 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 blah. so basically after i had lana well base let's start before before i had lana yeah i know i was super small but even before that i was bigger than i lost weight because i was just i was just never comfortable at being like at a high weight so then i was small before i had lana and my body type was very slim like the only thing like the only thing that made me look curvy is because i had like you know uh, i have a, like a cinched waist or whatever I have a cinched waist so i had no fat on me so it just made me look curvy but i just never had anybody like and it just was always an insecurity of mine like and all my outfits girl in my dress my fucking my dresses and stuff like my pants and stuff i just wouldn't care because I'm, I'm so cute in the face so after helena i had gained a lot of weight and i was just like you know what i have the money for this let me let's just do it let's just do it at this point so i decided to do it um i did take a long time actually like my friend has suggested me a doctor i looked into like well not a doctor she suggested me a place to go so i looked into it and I was taking, I have chosen a doctor first, but then I decided to choose a different doctor because after a while of researching him, I realized he's not the type of guy I need for me because that's just not the type of body. Okay, let's excuse my hair. Sorry. Let's talk about that. I don't have any gel or anything. So, yeah, um, I just was not comfortable in my body because I just do not like being of the bigger size because that's just personally for me. I don't like say, oh, I don't like, you know, blah, blah, blah. but just for me personally i just don't feel comfortable i don't feel like i look the best like i don't like when my chin is like this i just don't like it so a bbl wouldn't be fixing that i would still have to lose weight but i since i have the weight on me now i might actually just take it and put it in my butt and i still plan on losing weight after this because right now I'm, I'm up there girl i'm up there okay i ain't 200 pounds but i'm i'm a skip hop jump and a little run away from here okay so I'm just like gonna get to BBL and I plan to lose probably like 20 pounds to get to my goal weight after this. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna explain to y'all. But I know everybody won't like you know approve of my decision, but it ain't really for you to approve of. So yeah. Anyways, so let me show you guys my body because we're going to. I'm probably not gonna record another something else like 
I'm at the clip today because I'm not really doing anything. I'm probably just gonna go to Target, pick up. I need to get a razor for my underarms because I got my coochie wax. You gotta go, you gotta go where you go. So I got my coochie wax, but I didn't get my underarms wax because I just, I waxed my underarms by myself. Or I just shaved them because it's not as like, it's different from like the vaginal area to me. Like I don't have um, discoloration or like hypertension in my underarms. So I just really don't have to. I'm just gonna go get a razor. I'm, I'm, I'm just rambling. I'm gonna go get a razor and some gel for my hair because TSA took the gel I had, so I'm out here looking fucking crazy. But yeah, let me show you my body because the next time you're gonna see this is probably I'm be halfway dead. Come back in here. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're working on right now. No booty, if you can see that. Can y'all see that? No at all. Okay. So, yeah. That's what we're getting done tomorrow. Okay, good morning, y'all. It's 7.15. I did surgery. We gotta be there at 8 o'clock. I already showered everything. And, you know, I'm in a... I'm in a robe with nothing on under it, period. Got the compression socks on. You know? <laughs> Whole drip from Amazon. <laughs> but I'm about to set up my bed for when I come back. So I just got a shower curtain and some, um, I was staying in that room over there last night, but I'm staying in this room because one has like two twin beds in it. So I brought two my sisters out of y'all, I don't know. So one's gonna stay in here with me and the other one's gonna stay in that room tonight, but I'm just setting this bed up. Like, I'm about to do a crime scene in here. Like, I'm about to murder somebody, you know? And this is really to protect the uh, the bed of the B&B. &B. Oh, I think I should record from this angle, but I don't know if the light is going to be good. Let's see. Let's see. Turn the light on in here. Would that make it better? Nah, I think that made it worse. I'm just trying to tuck this in better. And now, to put the doggy pads down. We got these doggy pads from uh, Amazon. I'm gonna put like three or four down. I think I'll probably need three because this bed is giving very much twin size bed. I know I don't even have one up there so high, but I'm just gonna cover the whole bed. Oh, three. Three could work. I'm putting another one right in between this one, so because this has a space right there, if you guys can see another one. Okay. Uh, when it came to the urinal situation, a lot of girls was getting that cute urinal. Like, you know, everybody knows what I'm, talk what I'm talking about. Like the one, uh, like it's pink and it's just like the, you know, put on your coochie. But I've been seeing that everybody like really use this one. These are better than those like flimsy silicone ones. So yeah. So we're just gonna push this hole in there. If it will go in. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put this right here on the floor next to the bed. And yeah. Okay, so that's all for right now. 7.20. Gonna let my sisters get ready. Cause then will be time to go. Oh, I put my hair in two braids for surgery because I feel like that's the best way to maintain my hair because my hair gets a little crazy. Um, 
So yeah, oh, and I got my Faha. So let's talk about the Faha. I didn't buy a Faha from the surgical center because as everybody who gets surgery knows, the surgical centers be overcharging for their Fahas and it'd be really cheap quality. Um, I got my Faha in I think uh extra large. I got mine in an extra large. So I seen the doctor, he marked me up. Um I have an IV in my hand. I hate IVs because when I was pregnant with Mana, the IV like was out of my vein and it actually was just going through my hand. But yeah, so I'm in here. He came in real quick. Like he already knew it. You know what's crazy? He already knew the fat part, so I wasn't going. So yeah, okay, y'all. So I'll probably see y'all one afterwards. I can't really show you my body because you know I'm butt ass naked and YouTube don't allow that stuff. But yeah, okay, later. How you <laughs> how you feeling little lady? It's not that bad. It was a big ass smile. Put your feet down, my neck. Let's go. Use your legs. Let's go. There you go. Our butt. Don't feel like my butt. I'm thinking you wouldn't feel like your butt seen as it's, it's a new butt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There you go. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Lay down, my love. Lay down. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Thank you. No Thank problem. you. So, I've been home. What time is it? Anybody know? It's 3.43. So, I've been home for like three, four hours. Um, It didn't hurt that much when I got woke up and stuff. I was in a good mood that you guys were going to see, but probably seen. I'm sorry. Let me get myself together because that's just not cute. Uh. It started hurting when I got here a little bit. I was laying down like in the the, the drugs from the hospital the surgery. The hospital was wearing off. Um, it hurt really bad to be honest. It was like a burning feeling. But then I took the pain medication. You know, feeling a little better. I have to pee, but I can't pee. I was feeling lightheaded. So much as I'm making me something to eat. And yeah. Oh, I hope my butt is big. That's all I keep thinking about. I hope my butt is big. And my hips is wide and my waist is snatched. If not, 2020, you know, we in 2023, we're getting around too. Excuse the dusty appearance. I'm going to say that every time I come here, but you see it. You see what it's looking like. I was finally able to pee and I peed a lot. So it really had to be really bad. But yeah, I'm just coming here to give y'all a little update. I ate some food. I don't know if I said it last time, and I've been drinking water. And I feel way better than the first time I had to stand up. Girl, I was about to pass out. So yeah, my sisters are taking good care of me. They're cleaning up. Look at that butt, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a massage tomorrow at 9. It's like she's coming between 9 and 10 a.m. And... I need to get some adult diapers so I can walk around tomorrow without, like, you know, leaking. Okay, y'all. Um, so, the massage lady is about to come in right now to give me my first massage. I don't know if she's about to hurt. I just took my fire hole off and I just touched my side. Oh, no. It's not giving me what it's supposed to give. I know I'm in pain. Well, I ain't got no baby hairs out. You bought the key? Mm-hmm. I'm scared, y'all. It's gonna hurt. I just took the painkiller, though. So hopefully, I make it feel better. Yeah, but this lady about to take my stitches out. She about to do it all for me. She about to do it all for me. Oh, this about to, this fucking hurt. We gotta put some. We gotta put some little baby on so I could, you know, put mind over matter.
day two. Two. This is, I got the surgery on Saturday, but this is the second day I've been, you know. We on, today's Monday. But uh, anyways, the, I just came from my pre-op appointment. Everything's looking good. She said my skin looks healthy and all that. Um, I had a massage yesterday, as y'all guys know. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that clip in there. Because I have a clip in there with my ass out, but I'm not sure if I want, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If it's in there, then I decided to keep it. If it's not, then I decided not to keep it. Um... The lady is going to come and do my massage soon, but I'm going to eat something real quick. Um, I'm going to show you how bloody I'm looking. So if you don't like bloody stuff, don't keep watching. Okay, let me set you up. So I'm really swollen like right here, but you know, this is starting to look better because before it was, I was completely straight. So I'm going to go. My plans today is to go to the, um, Faha store and get me a better fitted Faha so I can like really squeeze in my upper area for when I go back to New York. Even though I'm just gonna get one though because I really want to get my um, stage two Faha from this place called Tributo. I don't know how you pronounce it, and they really be snatching the girls. But that's an online store, so you know it takes and it's over in Colombia, so they take seven days to make it, and then they're gonna ship it out after that. So yeah, I'm just gonna get one from here. But everything has been going fine. As you guys can see, I'm in a better mood. I didn't even take no pain medication this morning. Per. And my skin looking better. Because first of all, let's look at my skin. Um, look at my chin. My chin is just really fucked up. But we're going to bleach that. And get those back. And I burnt my fist right here. I have a problem with burning my fist with the curling one. But yeah, I just need to address that before people are like, damn, this bitch's face fucked up. Nah. I'm okay. Worry about you. Hey, y'all. So I'm in an Uber. You see the booty? Anyways, I'm in the Uber. We want to wait to the Faha store because my friend told me I should get a Faha before I leave from down here. So I'm going to go do that because I do need a stage two Faha because the stage one is not given what it's supposed to give. You get me? So I just feel here. Hey. Delete that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. And I have my um foams in from the girl. She like gives you like medical grade foams. I'm gonna get her in the vlog tomorrow because it's my last day in Miami tomorrow. But this is the Faha I got. Okay, real tiny. Who getting in this? I guess I am. This is my stage two Faha for when I get back. Girl, my fucking back hurt. Like, no funny shit. Like, the way my back hurt right now and the way my arms hurt, it's not even a joke. I'm just gonna show y'all. It looks better from my angle. You should let me take it from my angle. The video? Me, no, I, you should let me give them an angle from my angle where I'm sitting right now. Okay. I'm, like I'm trying to show them from the front. So this is how I'm looking. I need to compress more. More compression, y'all. The lady told me I took my file out, but I was smelling like ass. And I was not going to come here and massage me. I'm smelling like straight ass and shit. But this is the only dress I got because I only brought this here. Look at that. Oh. Pass <laughs> <laughs> me the camera. But yeah. It's how your girl is looking, honey. Okay. Hi, guys. Yes, Leigh has been doing massages. Yes. If y'all come to Miami, book her. I'm going to put her in the description box below. Yes, please, please. And please. I wish she'd come to New York with me because <laughs> I'm scared about the lady. Let's go to my Oh, I just finished my. No. So I just finished my massage. Uh, I'm about to take my shower, but I'm gonna wait until I'm feeling a little better, a little less, like probably like five, 10 minutes. Cause my back is burning right now. And I got a lipo burn. So I gotta get some dustings to put on that, but I won't be able to do that till tomorrow. So yeah, she just sent me my pictures of my booty. <laughs> so yeah. I got my faha. I didn't put any wards on or anything. I just moved it in a row because my foam's is wet and I have lipo burn. I don't have a destination yet and I don't want to put all the compression on it and then irritate it more. So I'm just gonna wait till I get home tomorrow because I go I get home tomorrow pretty early. So yeah. I got the arm tab under my mouth. It tastes like kind of like candy ish, like a sweet. Well, probably won't taste sweet to other people, but I have like a bland taste well, so yeah, so I'm about to eat something, take a nap, and 
yeah, I probably won't be posting anymore. So this is probably the end of the vlog well, posting. I probably won't be recording anymore. So this is like the end of the vlog. I'm gonna be doing a vlog next week. So you know, come back, enjoy. Her. Oh,